Hi, this is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from the International Police Expo at Pragati Medan, New Delhi. We are here at one of our traditional friends, the Israelis, who have a major participation at this show. We are here at Corsight, which is a company which has done wonderfully in the arena of facial recognition. And here we have with us Jeremy Bloom, who is Director for Partnerships and Innovations. And we really would like to welcome him and also congratulate him for the wonderful session he did at the conference yesterday here at the show. Welcome to ADU's chat room, Jeremy. Wonderful to have you here with us. Okay. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. Namaste, India. Uh, I'm Jeremy from Corsight, and I want to show you a little bit about our technology. Uh, so uh, we work a little bit differently than the rest of the markets. Uh, we can work with just a very small portion of the face, uh, which means that we live in very unprecedented times with uh, Corona and uh, people are wearing face masks. So I can show you that half of my face is covered. You can see on the screen the blue bounding box is my age and gender, male 20 to 29, and also my name. Now, now I can also put the face covering over on top uh, to show you. I was able to recognize with just a small portion of my face, and even the bottom half as well. Now we can work at all kinds of different angles. We can work also uh, in extreme uh, lighting conditions down to just two lumens. We can work uh, with outdated images. I'll show you, for example, an image of myself when I was a little kid over 15 years ago. Now this is a case that's used for uh, missing children. Uh, we want to help for those kind of markets. So I have a picture here and I'll show you. Just wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. That is great. So it recognizes you and it also lessens your age. Yes, so uh, it shows my age oh. um, and it's very useful for uh, intelligence uh, to create a better, smarter and safer cities to keep people safe and happy and better user experience. Um, for example, people can go in, they don't need to have all of their uh, certifications, PCR tests. You can upload a selfie, have it with your face and go right through airport security. So does that mean it will tell them that the person is vaccinated? So what they can do is instead of needing to carry all of their papers with them, they can go to an application, upload a selfie, upload all of their passport information, PCR, vaccination records, and then you don't need to do a manual check at the airport. You can just freeze right by security uh, and passport control and you'll be verified. Wonderful. Well, that, that really creates so much of ease for the traveler. Yes, so that's, that's, one, that's wonderful. Also, what are the other markets you envisage for your product, here in India especially? Yeah, so uh, we work with airports, as I mentioned. Uh, we work with uh, casinos, um, for example, VIP clients. Uh, first off, we want to detect um, before a VIP even enters the, uh, the gaming area. Uh, we can greet them by name because we know them. They enroll, of course, and then as soon as they enter, they set up a table for them, they already have their favorite drink in hand, and they pay a premium on that kind of experience. Um, they fast track exactly what, what, they, what, the, what they want to do. Um, now, we work a lot in smart and safe cities, intelligence for police, um, retail as well. How many, what's the footfall of male and female uh, that come to my shop between these days? And we can do that without saving any data. So many different use cases. Um, and we're happy to work with uh, many different partners in the space. Absolutely. And uh, do you see a market for yourself in Homeland Security? Are you already there in it in Israel or at somewhere else in the world? And do you see some sort of a market for yourself in India? Definitely. So Israel is uh, very big in Homeland Security. Um, and that's part of uh, what you know helped create this technology. Um, I can't give any references. We're under NDA, and it's uh, I can't disclose. But we work with uh, several intelligence agencies uh, in Israel, in 
and also outside Israel uh, to protect uh, you know very important people uh, to do intelligence and reconnaissance. Uh, so we're happy to look for uh, you know additional uh, situations that we can provide those kind of uh, use cases and safety. And in India, have you been been in talks with the police forces, paramilitary forces, defense forces? Uh, we can't disclose that information at this time. But we're happy to be here in India. Right. And is it the first time you're showcasing in India or you've already done it earlier? We've had some presence in uh, India uh, earlier, but uh, I believe this is our first time at this specific uh, police expo. And so far, we're loving it. Very good energy here, a lot of relevant people, um, and it's great to, to be here to showcase our technology. And what has the footfall been like? Uh, good? Yeah, How people football. seeing and uh... see right now. I mean, we've had many people visit our our booth. Um, uh, it's facial recognition has many different use cases, so we're finding a way to provide value to many different people. Um, and we'll definitely be back here next year. Right. Thank you so much, Jeremy. That was wonderful speaking with you. And we really hope that you not only have a good footfall, but also have a great market in India. Thank you so much. It'll add on to the already existing strong India-Israel relationship. Thank you so much.